This is a 1960 DeSoto. The following year, 1961, will be the last model year. This uh, car is very little different from the Chrysler Newport of the uh, of the time. Notice the DeSoto insignia here. The differences were in the grille and the taillights, and of course trim. This is called the Adventurer. The Adventurer had started out years before as a uh, special edition kind of thing, a hardtop. But here it's a four-door sedan. They broadened it to that. They also, a four-door hardtop was available. This has fender skirts, as you can see. Upholstery is quite nice. Uh, too bad there's a lot of stuff there in the back, so you can't see what it looked like in the back, but you can get an idea here with the front seat. A lot of use of color. Red, white, and charcoal. And a very busy instrument panel. There on the left are the push buttons for the uh, automatic transmission, torque flight, and on the right for the heating and air conditioning. If it had air, I'm not sure. Still had vent wings. And it has, uh, has a, um, an aerial there in the back, typical of the time. Fender skirts, as you saw. And there are those kind of odd shaped tail lamps. Backup lamp there on both sides. Notice the indent there in the trunk. Kind of a styling cue. The bumpers, as you see, were stylized too. Yes, in 1960 they canceled it after less than two months of manufacture. In November, end of November they announced that was the end of uh, DeSoto. That was in uh, November 1960. So they made a few 1961 models, and then the ones they didn't hadn't uh, accounted for, they essentially gave, dumped them on the dealers and told them to sell them which dealers wound up usually selling them at a loss because they were discontinued.